All right, today we're going over five chest exercises that if you don't consistently do, you need to add these in. And on top of that, we're doing all dumbbells. And even if you do these on a regular basis, hopefully I can give you some insights and some variations that help you connect better to each exercise. So if you're ready, let's get after it. So every chest day, I like to start with a movement that greases everything up and more importantly, puts enough blood in that chest where I'm not even thinking twice about it. Every movement I do after that, I'm so connected to that chest, I don't have to worry about the anterior delt or tricep jumping in. And even when I'm in an empty gym like this because I've locked it up and hid the keys so nobody can find it, I still a lot of times will choose this variation over cable flies because this really makes you hone in and focus on actually flexing with your chest instead of just going through the movement. All right, to start it off, you're gonna grab two dumbbells and you're gonna treat this like a low cable fly. So you're gonna lean back to work against gravity. And as you're coming up to really enhance the contraction, you're gonna go nice and Slow. So you're actually flexing through the movements. Feel like you're flexing the bottom of the chest all the way up. And to make it even worse, as you come up together, push those dumbbells together and treat it like an old school cable fly. You know those pec decks where you're trying to push those elbows in? Same thing applies here. Push those hands together, elbows come in, and to really finish it off, one or two inches up further, your chest is going to be lit up after that. So one of my favorite movements is actually a unilateral press on a hammer strength. Now, we can mimic that same thing with a dumbbell. It doesn't have to be advanced. You're just gonna twist your body a little bit. It's gonna take some finagling to kind of get yourself in position, but once you get it right, it's that same movement where you'll notice as you're doing this, your chest is what fails. Once you get that right position, your tricep can't jump in, your anterior duct can't, it's all that chest. Now to really get the most out of this movement, instead of just pressing straight up like a normal press, you're actually gonna wrap that arm around your body and finish the contraction off in the inner part of that chest. All right, so let's press a little heavy weight. Now, instead of doing the traditional press that I'm sure you've done every single different way, let's do a barrel press. Now, a barrel press is just a hybrid between a fly and a press. Nice part about this, you get the best of both worlds, right? So you get a nice deep stretch around your body. As you come up, you're not gonna put that shoulder in a compromising position like you do with flies, because it's still at that nice right angle. And as you're squeezing through, you get that contraction in and enhance it even more. We're gonna turn that wrist up and we're gonna really feel that lower pec as we're squeezing through. Now, I prefer to do these on a little bit of a decline, so I'll throw a plate underneath the bench. Now, if you're the guy that messaged me that uses his wife's pink dumbbells, you don't have a plate, just drive your hips up a little further and lean back, create the decline yourself. It works just as good. Now we've talked about coffin presses before, but there's two ways to do them that I kind of want to go into more detail about. So the first way is flaring those elbows out completely and feel like you're just squeezing those dumbbells in and driving them up as much as possible. You can use two dumbbells, you can use one, doesn't matter. Now the second way is my favorite, but it's person to person, so everybody's different. If you feel the other one better, do that one. But what you're gonna do is drive those elbows in and once you get about halfway up, Drop the elbows down and actually flex into your chest, again, like that old school pec deck fly, squeezing in, and from there, finish the contraction off. I guarantee you get a lot more inner pec that way, but again, I've had people feel it the other way too. Some people are also wrong, so there's that. I know I've shown these before, but I would never, given the opportunity, I would never do regular push-ups when I have a couple dumbbells I can put my hands on, because there's so many different variations you can do. You can mimic a dip, you can change it to more of a fly motion. There's just a lot of different ways and different areas you can target. So given the opportunity, always use dumbbells for push-ups. As always, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a comment of the video you want me to do next, and get after it, get growing. I'll talk to you soon. Just use the space for this, yeah. I had somebody ask me if I knew, I'm not here enough to answer that question. No, no, I, 
I refuse. <laughs> I'm trying to go the other way. Stop training people now.